It's common advice for writers to think of one single reader, a real person to help them focus their tone, narrative, cadence. And a similar thing is true for user personas. The reason that we craft user personas, buyer personas, isn't to list together some target segments, pain points and demographics in the abstract. It's to craft a consistent, coherent character who would really be interested in your business, what you have to offer and your services. In this video, we'll walk through a user persona template and customer workspace. And while it was built for client facing projects, it can really be used for any business. If you're trying to tighten up your own thinking about who your customers or users might be, then we hope that this block will be helpful. We'll cover four steps. We'll talk about how to create and fill out a user persona template. We'll talk about how to tag personas and segments in the Notion workspace. We'll talk about how to make these personas more visually appealing, more aesthetically appealing using pitch. And finally, we'll discuss how to link these personas with segments and competitors and other aspects of your setup. So if you have the shared client workspace, this is the home view that you'll see and we're going to focus in on the customers and user persona workspace to get started. Um, we're going to generate a new persona um, based on this pre-built template. So when we hit this persona template button in the, in the main page, it's going to preload some useful sections for us to, to fill in. Now, depending on how you're using this template, uh, if you're working on a client project and you have some of your own areas that you want to add, or if you want to take away some of these, by all means. And if you're using this template to, to start thinking about your own uh, target segments and personas in your business, then we hope that these areas uh, will be quite helpful for you when getting started. We have a general demographics and basic information section to help give some context to this particular persona, things like their name, if you want to give them a name, location, uh, their education, career history, anything that's kind of very general basic information about this particular user or customer. We have a psychographics section, which has um, been listed as a table view. We have the big five personality traits. Uh, we can leave a, a link to some, some further reading if you're interested in this um, personality scale. And what we've done here is just listed it so that um, you can input a score between one and 10, and it'll give you a, a visual overview of where this particular persona lies on those key five personality traits. We have a pain points, desired outcomes, use cases, and blind spots section. We'll leave more information about what exactly um, those are, but just very quickly, pain points, we're thinking about what are the the main problems or issues that this person is facing, desired outcomes where we're really focused on what are their goals, what are they trying to get out of um, out of this product or service, or just more generally, what are what are they interested in achieving? Um, we have a use cases section, so if you offer multiple products or services, you can list which particular products you you believe this persona is going to be best suited to. And for blind spots, we're talking about what are some areas which this person um, may not be aware that they have a problem or what's something that you wish you could bring to their attention. Uh, perhaps they're not aware of the type of solution that you offer, but you feel that it really could help them. If they were to find out about you, they might, um, they might be interested. So blind spots are trying to cover you know, those areas where the, the user may not have heard of you, may not have even heard of your industry, but if they did, they, they might be interested. So then we have an online activities, which is really talking about their online presence and behavior. Are they active on social media? How do they use search? Are they searching for informative keywords, trying to learn things? Are they searching for buyer intent keywords, things like best product in my field? Um, are they... Who do they follow is an important one to keep track of. And if you plan on doing any targeted ads based on these personas, then 
listing some specific interests or categories can also be quite helpful. We have an enjoys the product or service because section. And here we're just going to give a summary statement. So we're imagining that in the future, this persona has converted into a loyal customer. And then we're asking them, you know, why? Why do you enjoy the product? Why do you stay with us? And we need to, we need to come up with a, a coherent response from this particular persona. Maybe it solves a particular pain point. Maybe that it solved some blind spot that they had. And we're going to give a short sentence summary here. And finally, there's a response best to, and just two prompts. There are what type of onboarding flow does this persona respond well to and which types of content, video, audio, content, these types of things. So this is a very basic user persona template to get you started. You'll notice this uh, embedded pitch presentation, which we'll talk about in a, in a next step. And it's really just to kind of help you get started. And if you're, if you're not someone who has thought closely about what a user persona should include, then we've, we've added some of the key areas that are going to be quite helpful for you. And after you've finished out this main information in the user persona profile, you can also link this persona to a few uh, key elements. So we can link it to a related database of segments, which is also in this customer workspace. So let's say that this persona fit with the e-commerce segment or belong to the e-commerce segment. We can list any common pain points. So, you know, the reason that this is a multi-select is because if your product or service um, solve some of the same pain points across various personas or segments, you can choose from a, a list that you create for yourself. So let's say this is an e-commerce persona. They're struggling with low sales. Let's say the use case might be um, an online store design. Again, all of these options, if you want to create a new option, you can simply type it into the field. So if the use case happened to be just more generally web design, then you can create a new option there and it'll appear in your list. Then the touch points, we might choose Instagram and YouTube. Again, this is just so that when we exit this view, we can now sort our personas based on a few common tags. We'll see them linked to particular personas and segments here. And we can also begin to link and refer to our personas um, across our, our workspace in, in different areas. So you will have noticed that we have a slightly more aesthetically pleasing view with these um, user persona slides. And these have been created using a software called Pitch, which I highly recommend. If you were, if you wanted to implement something like this in your own setup, we can, you can create a Pitch account directly. And what I've used here is a free template. It's this go to market strategy template. And within it, there are these user persona um, profiles. Naturally, it's, it is an editor, so you can go in and change and adjust it as you need, but it's just a, a very handy and um, aesthetically pleasing presentation builder tool, which we recommend. And once you do create that template, Let's create this presentation. I'm going to go to this profile here. I can share and I can embed the presentation into this notion workspace, which is exactly what we've done here. So if you would like to set that up for yourself, you can do that with uh, a number of presentation tools. And if you'd like this cover image to display here in this board view, then you just need to create or save this file as a PNG and add it as the cover image for this, for this board. And as a final step, we'll just take note of this target segments long list. What we have here are the key segments that we're interested in targeting, uh, the addressable size of those markets. If you want to do that research or if the client provides that information for you, we have it linked to a competitor's database, which is a separate block that you can also duplicate. We will link that 
um, to this video as well, if interested. Um, and we can also see that because we have added these particular personas or we've listed um, a specific segment, we can see that this persona appears in our in our target segments long list. Now, this is a very tight and small um, setup, but the, the real power of creating these personas uh, within a database with specific tags is that when we get to things like planning marketing strategies or campaigns and referencing particular personas or referencing particular segments or even trying to sort campaigns based on specific pain points and things, this is where the benefit of having uh, something like a user persona um, as a database object that can be referenced in other parts of your setup can be a really powerful tool. So that's what we have here is a very small tight knit version of what you can do with just focusing on the customer's side with competitors, user personas and some pain points and other tags. But it really, it really is up to you to think of um, the, the best ways that you could apply this to your business. And there are many, uh, many applications out there. So just to recap, user personas can be a really handy tool to help us focus not only our product development, but also our communication and how we market our offerings.